All right, Wolfpack, Wednesday hump day wad. Last uh, little work before 23.2 comes out on um, Thursday at 1 p.m., same as last week. We're going to just kind of refresh our, our uh, technique and our memory on some uh, moderate clean and jerks. Okay, we're going to do some hang work, um, then we're going to go to the floor. But s specifically, we really want to work these jerks. Um, split jerk, I think, uh, is going to be beneficial tomorrow in case they decide to throw some kind of weird jerk max at us or uh, we do have a clean and jerk right we've definitely done more cleans than the actual split jerk itself so um really want to focus on some technique there we want to make sure that we're not overdoing the weights again especially on these first six these should be very very moderate in fashion where we're focusing on speed hitting all the positions on the cleans and then our jerk must be extremely snappy with perfect catch position right nothing is even remotely close to failing okay then you can kind of push the push the weight a little bit here um, but we definitely still want to stay within some kind of, you know, 80% uh, or less effort range. So we're not overly fatiguing ourselves, uh, but we have enough weight on the bar that really forces us to do the technique um, right. But we're also not failing. Okay, so first three minutes is from the high hang position, just like Monday. We're only going to do two high hang cleans just because we have a jerk. That'll be the third movement. Otherwise, these are going to take a long time um, in the minute. So from that high hang pocket, remember, we just want to dip a little bit, try to keep that chest behind the bar, get full extension. Um, pull those elbows back and then we're working on speed catch underneath the bar You can power clean these if you would like or depending on right if your legs are a little bit tired from this You want to power clean everything that's totally fine tomorrow um, If you are gonna work power cleans on these high hangs you really have to focus on driving the legs out and dropping right we can get away with lazy footwork and lazy elbows um, and catch really, really high because this is not going to be a very, very heavy weight. But the purpose of the high hang is uh, getting as much extension of the barbell and lift of the barbell with your hips um, from that top position uh, as you can. And then working on dropping under it as low as you need to go and as fast as you need to go um, since you don't have the power from the floor. So make sure if we are going power here, um, you're still working on dropping into at least a half squat, right? Getting under the bar and catching in a good position. Otherwise, just drop all the way down in that squat. So you'll do two... High hang cleans, stand up, and then your third movement will be a, a split jerk. So you only are doing one split jerk per round here. Um, you're only doing one split jerk the entire EMOM. That way we're focusing right on the good clean position, right? Fatiguing the legs, the midline, the rack, and then having to do a split jerk when we're tired. Okay? Um, so six out of ten effort there, nice and light. Uh, the, the next three are going to be two hang cleans. So exactly the same thing, right? We just track the bar down to the knees. Once we hit the knees, back into the hips, we go into our two cleans. Again, another jerk. You can add some weight here, and then we got six final sets. We're just doing one clean and jerk from the floor, putting together the first two movements per usual, like we always do in our imams. Um, I always see a ton of benefit and a ton of uh, improvement in movement patterns when we do imams like this because it's hitting the different positions. And then when you go from the floor, all you got to really do is just make sure you're pulling the barbell into this 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 hand clean position, and then everything else is pretty much primed. Okay. Um, just remember, as you go along this EMOM, your legs get tired, everything gets tired. The final split jerks are going to be obviously more challenging because you're he heavier in weight too. So focus on the lift, right? Sliding your feet, getting under it as fast as you can, and just make sure we catch with the elbows locked out. Nice, strong uh, catch position, and we should be good to go. Okay? It's a fun little EMOM there. And then this is another double movement uh, workout. I think this should be a little bit better than the one on Monday. Well, the one on Monday was amazing. This one was extremely challenging um, to actually get all the reps in. It was actually undoable to do 8 and 15. Um, but I'm still learning how to do these kind of double imams. It's, it's definitely new. So we're going to go every 75 seconds here uh, for five rounds, and we're going to do some double movements. So 10 box jumps to start. <clears throat> uh, the open does say that you need a box that goes up to 30 inches. So uh, for those who are going to be doing the open or are comfortable with high box jumps, right, you might want to flip it over for some 30s. Um, a round or two there just to get a couple in. I don't think doing 10 box jumps at the 30 is going to be uh, super doable or super super necessary. I think it should be more like 8 to 10 um, to keep it in with the time domain, but I think you should get some touches on the 30 inch if you plan to do the open, and you can do it um, just in case they happen to throw it in the workout. We, we, we haven't seen it yet, but it does say on the uh, on the standards that you do need it. Okay, And then we're going to do 10 deadlifts, but we're going to do them in the clusters, 5, rest, 5, so basically you do five deadlifts, right? Drop it, pick it up, five. Okay, so we're doing this because a lot of times, again, in, in workouts where we have to do tons of deadlifts, we're not going to be hanging on for big sets. So we just want to work on hitting your quick five, dropping, shaking it out, and then getting right back to the barbell when you're ready to do your next five. Okay, and again, if you're practicing for the open, this is probably the weight that you want to um, use because it's the ones that we've seen in the open. Okay, so you'll complete all that in 75 seconds. 
any remaining time you rest. And then this next one, it's going to be eight to 10 pull-ups. Uh, they did put pull-ups in last year for the first time. Um, but it's normally chest to bar in the open. And then we're going to do a 50, a 50 foot dumbbell front rack walking lunge. Okay. And then we'll get one minute of rest. So again, since we do have this minute of rest, we can extend these a little closer to the minutes or to the 75 seconds, but we still want a little bit of rest and transition. Um, that way we can recover enough in the 60 seconds and repeat it. So I don't think I went over this, but the pull-up motion that we choose uh, for the time sake of this needs to be done in no more than two sets. I would honestly prefer you guys just to do one set, nice big set, get as many as you can, move on, and then we need to make sure that we choose a dumbbell um, that you can do all 50 feet unbroken because I don't think we'll have much more time to do uh, any breaks at 25 in order to get this in. Okay, so this is a kind of an aggressive EMOM. Should be enough rest to recover. Um, but again, if we are getting to the point where movements are failing, we're not getting the work done in the 75 seconds, we're not recovering, then we just need to bring the reps down a little bit. And I assume for most it's going to be here and probably here that's going to cause, uh, and the lunges too, um, they're going to cause a little bit more time. So just be smart about it. We're not trying to kill ourselves before the open. We're trying to get some touches, some volume, some stimulus work, and call it good. Okay, other than that, have a fantastic Wednesday. See you guys at the gym. Toodaloo!